Picture this, a nuclear reactor. You're probably imagining giant cooling towers, humming machinery, and scientists in lab coats. But what if I told you that nature beat us to it? That billions of years ago, deep within the African continent, a natural nuclear reactor flickered to life? You'd probably think that sounds like something out of science fiction. Well, get ready for a true story that's stranger than fiction. Before we dive into this natural nuclear reactor, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible complexity of the world around us. From the tallest trees in the forest to the tiniest blades of grass, everything is made up of atoms. Think of atoms like tiny Lego blocks that make up everything around us. Just as you can use Lego blocks to build anything from a simple house to a complex spaceship, atoms can combine in countless ways to form the diverse materials and structures we see in nature. Chemical reactions are like rearranging these Legos to build different structures. When atoms bond together, they form molecules, and these molecules can interact in various ways to create new substances. It's like a never-ending construction project where the building blocks are constantly being moved around and reassembled. But nuclear reactions? They're a whole different ballgame. While chemical reactions involve the electrons that orbit the nucleus of an atom, nuclear reactions involve the nucleus itself. This is where things get really interesting and powerful. They involve messing with the center of the atom, the nucleus, where unimaginable amounts of energy reside. The nucleus is held together by incredibly strong forces, and when these forces are disrupted, the energy released can be immense. Imagine splitting a Lego block and releasing a burst of fireworks. This is a simplified way to think about nuclear fission, where the nucleus of an atom splits into smaller parts, releasing a tremendous amount of energy in the process. That's the kind of energy we're talking about. This energy can be harnessed for various purposes, from generating electricity in nuclear power plants to powering spacecraft on long missions. It's the difference between a firecracker and a stick of dynamite. While a firecracker might give you a quick burst of excitement, a stick of dynamite has the power to cause significant change. Similarly, nuclear energy has the potential to transform our world in profound ways. Now let's talk about chain reactions. Imagine a line of dominoes, you tip over the first one and it sets off a chain reaction toppling the rest. Nuclear chain reactions are similar. When an atom splits, it releases neutrons, tiny particles that can trigger other atoms to split, releasing even more energy and neutrons in a self-sustaining cascade. This is the principle behind nuclear power plants and as we'll see, nature's own reactor in Oklo. Our story takes us to Oklo Gabon, a place that might seem unremarkable at first glance. Nestled in the heart of Africa, this region is known for its lush landscapes and rich natural resources, but beneath its surface lies a mystery that puzzled scientists for decades. In 1972, a curious discovery was made that would change our understanding of natural phenomena. It all began when a shipment of uranium ore from Oklo arrived in France for processing. A French physicist while examining the samples noticed something peculiar. The uranium ore from this particular mine had an unusual composition. Specifically, the concentration of uranium-235, the isotope used in nuclear reactors and atomic bombs, was significantly lower than expected. Normally uranium ore contains about 0.72% uranium-235, however the samples from Oklo had much less. This anomaly was akin to finding a half-eaten cake with no crumbs left behind. It was a scientific conundrum that demanded an explanation, Scientists were baffled, how could such a significant amount of uranium-235 be missing? Theories ranged from contamination to unknown geological processes. The scientific community was abuzz with speculation. Determined to solve the mystery, researchers from around the world began to investigate. They scoured the mine, analyzed geological samples and conducted numerous experiments. The question on everyone's mind was, where did the missing uranium go? After much head-scratching and rigorous investigation, they stumbled upon an incredible explanation. The answer lay not in human error or contamination, but in the natural history of the Earth itself. Billions of years ago, conditions in the Oklo region were just right for a natural nuclear reactor to form. Water infiltrated the uranium-rich ore, acting as a neutron moderator, and a self-sustaining nuclear chain reaction occurred. This natural reactor operated for hundreds of thousands of years, depleting the uranium-235 in the process. The evidence was in the rocks. Geologists found telltale signs of fission products, the remnants of split atoms embedded in the ancient formations. These fission products were the smoking gun, confirming that a natural reactor had indeed existed, 
they found telltale signs of fission products, the byproducts of nuclear reactions, which provided concrete evidence of the ancient reactor's existence, the remnants of split atoms, confirming their suspicions. This discovery was not just a scientific curiosity, it had profound implications for our understanding of nuclear physics and the history of our planet. The natural reactor at Oklo remains one of the most fascinating detective stories in the annals of science. Oklo's on-off switch, nature's nuclear regulator. Deep within the Earth, in a region now known as Gabon, Africa, lies a geological marvel that has fascinated scientists for decades. This is the site of the Oklo Natural Nuclear Reactor, a place where nature itself managed to achieve what humans only accomplished in the 20th century. So, how did this natural reactor work? The story begins around 2 billion years ago when the conditions were just right for a nuclear reaction to occur naturally. Imagine a giant sponge soaked with uranium-rich water. This sponge was actually a uranium deposit, and the water acted as a natural moderator, slowing down the neutrons released during fission. The uranium deposits were rich enough to sustain a chain reaction but, it was the presence of water that made all the difference. This sponge was actually a uranium deposit, and the water acted as a natural moderator, slowing down the neutrons released during fission. The water's role was crucial, it moderated the neutrons, making them more likely to cause further fission in other uranium atoms. This delicate balance was key to the reactor's operation. When enough uranium accumulated and the conditions were just right, a chain reaction would start, generating heat. This heat would then cause the surrounding water to boil, creating steam. The steam in turn, would reduce the amount of water available to moderate the reaction, effectively acting as a natural safety mechanism. But, here's the fascinating part. The heat from the reaction would boil away some of the water, acting like a natural safety valve. As the water boiled away, the moderation effect would decrease, slowing down the reaction. This self-regulating mechanism prevented the reactor from overheating and melting down. This would slow down the chain reaction, preventing a meltdown. The reactor would then enter a dormant phase, cooling down until water levels were restored. This cycle of heating, boiling, and cooling created a natural on-off switch, regulating the reactor's activity. As the water replenished, the reactor would start up again, creating a self-regulating cycle that lasted for hundreds of thousands of years. This natural phenomenon is a testament to the incredible balance and complexity of our planet's geological processes. The Oklo reactor not only provides a glimpse into the Earth's ancient past, but also offers valuable insights into the principles of nuclear physics and reactor design. Oklo versus Modern Reactors, a tale of two reactors. Compared to our modern marvels of engineering, the Oklo reactor was a simple affair. It had no control rods, no concrete containment domes, just the raw power of nature at work. Yet, it operated safely and efficiently, a testament to the elegance of natural processes. While modern reactors rely on complex systems and human intervention, Oklo reminds us that nature too can harness the power of the atom. The legacy of Oklo lessons from nature's reactor. The discovery of the Oklo reactor sent ripples through the scientific community. It challenged our understanding of nuclear physics and provided a unique window into the Earth's distant past. Moreover, Oklo offers valuable insights into the long-term storage of nuclear waste. The way nature contained the radioactive byproducts for billions of years has inspired new approaches to waste disposal. It's like finding an ancient instruction manual on how to handle nuclear materials responsibly. Al thought the universe's hidden wonders. The story of Oklo is a humbling reminder of the immense power and mystery that lie hidden within our universe. It's a testament to the ingenuity of nature and a source of inspiration for scientists and dreamers alike. Who knows what other secrets lie buried beneath our feet waiting to be unearthed. Perhaps like the Oklo reactor, they hold the key to unlocking even greater wonders.